Hello, my name is Ashley. Today I'm gonna paint this little beautiful gourd. What it is, I got one of my friends, she gave it to me because she knows always I have birds. Birds comes and birds goes in my garden. I have too many kind of colorful birds comes and goes. So she gave me this gourd, so I decided to make a little bird cage. So, which I have one inside, I'm gonna paint that one too. So what I did over here with the drill, it has special tools that you can make a hole. I made a little big one here, so the bird can come out and go in and out easy. Those are little windows for him. And over here, a little dish, so I can put the food, the seeds, they can stand up here or here, wherever, and they can, they can eat. So this gourd, I put a little something over here that I had it. I just want to hang this in the house, or if they go out, then I'll hang outside so other birds will enjoy it. So I'm, what I'm gonna do, I'm gonna paint this like a swan, white, with a little head, but when it reaches to the body, I'm gonna make it like he's in the garden, all green, and the front, I'm gonna make it like a little house, so the bird knows his own place, with the red color, with little baby bread flowers, or I don't know what I'm gonna do, but I'm gonna do something beautiful. So this way, the bird will be able to enjoy it. So I'm gonna start. I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do with the acrylic paints. I was thinking to do oil, but I think I will do acrylic paint because it dries faster and it will do fast job because my birds can't wait to get in. All right, I need white paint. Always have your towel material. Now lately I'm using a cloth. I'm gonna start with white and black, which I'm gonna make this kind of a gray color. Let's put this. So we will be able to put nice white color later on, just like a little feathers. I have to go more with white. You know that acrylic dries fast, so we have no problem. If we don't do right, we can always go back and we cover on top. We just have to wait two seconds to dry it. This is the first time I'm doing on a gourd. I want to make my birds happy. So we're going to first put the first layer of gray and then of course we're going to make the beak red. We're going to add a little his beak sides red color. I think this one it's going to be beautiful swan. What it is when you get the gourd, you have to really wash it very, very nice. What did I do? I took the, I took the barbecue brush, just metal kind. I bought it just for this because my friend who gave it to me, she says it's a toxic. So what you have to do, you have to bleach it and this and that. So what did I do? For one day, I kept it in the water and I took the metal brush and I brushed it as much as I could. It was very hard to, to clean it up, but I did. And now I'm hoping it will be a beautiful swan. You know what, this thing we will color it red. So this, will, this way it will attract birds if I put it out. We have a lot of chickens outside and when we put the food, a lot of birds comes. And on our trees, we get a lot of nests, especially dogs, which I made at another channel. And I named the channel Nest and Nature. And it's just a little bit, little things about the animals. Our doggies, our birds. A little possum comes visit us. I just video him. I have a turtle. We have a little farm here, a fish pond. This gray color will be good. And then we're gonna make white on it, but we're just gonna make it like look like a feather. Now the bottom part, we're gonna put some green. I'm gonna do it. Let's put some little white, some little yellow color. Oops. Well, let's do the green first and then we can add it. It's gonna be like a garden. This one, we don't have to completely cover it because it's okay if it uh, comes through the yellow color from the gold, it's fine. I think the bird is gonna be very happy to have a beautiful house. 
I let my little birds, which is a wild bird, my son, he find it and it was a baby. I raised it, we have it already a month. Couple time I put him out, including today. He didn't go any place. He flew on the trees and then he started to make a noise. And I said, I knew that's our bird. I went and I called him. His name is little Judy. And he flew, he came back. Now he's in the house again. I guess his place is very comfortable. He doesn't want to be in the wild. I felt like he has to go to make a friends, but he doesn't want to be outside. He goes a couple hours and then he come back. All right, it's almost dry around here. I think very soon I'm going to be able to hold it. Uh, the bottom, it doesn't matter. But while we're going to hang it, I might as well put the color on. So all over the places, we're going to color green now. And then we're going to make beautiful garden. Let me tap it a little bit darker here and there, black. What it does, it's like a, it's not black, but it's kind of mixed. So it will be kind of a shadow under the leaves. I think this one already started to look beautiful. We're going to wash our brush. Always wash your brushes very well because if the color paint stays in it, you're going to waste your brushes. So you make sure you clean them very well. Don't let colored paint stays inside. Long time ago, I have a video that you can go check it. I've been teaching over there from my experience because I lost a lot of brushes before. And I am very careful now. It's kind of still damp, but it's okay. Outside is pretty hot, and I think it will help us to dry it. Okay, so what we're gonna do now? I'm gonna put a little bit white color. Let's do from the bottom and up. All right, to go actually like this. We're gonna mix just very little, like some parts. And then this bottom part, it will be covered with leaves, with flowers, the swan or the duck, whatever we call, it's gonna be in the garden, in the leaves. I'm just giving kind of a, like a little extra strokes. We're gonna see how it's gonna look this beautiful swan. It looks like even though I'm painting this by turning, twisting it, I'm getting dizzy. I wonder how the swan is gonna feel. I think the swan is happy that he's having his beautiful color back. Now I wanna do the little house over here. All right, now over here, I'm going to do a little house for him. So the birds, he needs his color to know where he's entering his house, which way. We're gonna give him a cute house for him to live in. We're mixing red and green, I mean red and yellow. Kind of a little orange look. We will keep some paint on it and hopefully it will dry. We'll make it even. I'm just gonna leave a little bit kind of lumpy bumpy color on it. Yellow, red. And then we'll see. I think the bird is going to be very happy. Later on, we're going to come back one more time to make it a little bit lighter because it's kind of a little bit dark. We want a fresh, light colors. This is now acrylic I'm using. If it dries like this, it's good. If it, the color goes away, it fades away, then we have to put more color because I want it to be a little bit obvious, clear for the bird. Okay, let's do this like it's a shingles. Those looks like a little bricks. 
Let's put a little bit white color with it, with the yellow. There we go. And then if we need to add more, then we can do it more. Let's wash our brushes. Now we have to put some little white on this duck, this one. This will be his feathers. And then we're gonna let this little bit dry because the gold is not that clear, that smooth. It's like drinking and the oil and the color and some places are being bulky, which is fine. It looks more natural. And then we're gonna come from the top, little by little, we're gonna make little feathers like this on a swan. From the bottom we start and we go up. Now, what we have to do is, we're gonna put over here some green leaves. We will make some yellow. We're gonna add a little bit some red in it because we're gonna add later on beautiful flowers. There's a crack here, we have to fill it. It's okay, it's nothing happened there. We're gonna blend the white with that, with the green. There you go. We're just adding a little bit color to the bottom part. And we're not making any wet, no water on it, just kind of like dry. All right, we're gonna wash the brush very well. Make sure you clean your brushes, like I always say, very good, because you don't wanna ruin your brushes. We need pouncing brush. Now we're gonna do a little bit yellow and green. Let's mix a little bit white. Those are like little, little flowers. And we'll add some branches later on. It's like a garden. And then we have to put some little stems on them. I think the birds is gonna be very happy. We're gonna do variety colors, so this way it will look kind of a beautiful garden under the house. Just tap it. It already looks beautiful. Let's add a little bit yellow around here. We need color for the birds. Already the bird has a beautiful home. And then the top will go later on more. Around the house, maybe we put more bigger, much more red. What we have to do, we go small and then we go up bigger. Actually, I should do it from the top and down. Top and down. The feather goes tinier, the bottom thinner. We'll put some white so when we make a vine, it will be more eye-catching. All right, I'm gonna hold the this way. This one is in the, the dark is in the garden. Maybe we should put a little gray with this so we will see the difference of the color of the duck the feather. All right. We'll make it a little drop of black. It doesn't have to be too neat. It's just nice, a little bit sharpness to the, so it looks like feathers are coming on top of each other. You can turn it a little bit this way and then push it tiny and then make it flatter. I think it's done now. Now we have to do it complete white. Let's wet the black. Let's wet the gray, gray one and just make it white now. 
All right, let's see. I think it's looking pretty good. All right, now let's add a little bit dark again. So we'll see the difference here and there. Over here, more or less. We can wipe it all white one more time and then we will go over again one with white and we will tap it we'll make it feathers coming on top of each other some places are rough we're gonna make i think nice and smooth all right over here we're gonna make the beak we're gonna make the beak kind of red let's do this so we can see what we're doing then we'll put a line over here that is like part of the we're gonna add a little bit like part of his mouth we're gonna make the eye and then we're gonna take the black put a little dot let's continue put some white here all right we're gonna come back again back to her eyes later on when they are wet they need to dry I'm gonna make this this little necklace for the dark red color so the the house they will be attracted for the birds they will see it or even hummingbirds if they come let's put this the duck in a grass like he's sitting in the grass make the leaves goes left and right We'll wear it, we'll put both two greens and then we can put a little bit more higher flowers. There you go. Let's put a little bit kind of yellowish. That's looking beautiful already. I want to make a little bit kind of a yellow color to give to this house. Yellow with red. So it will be eye-catching for the birds. Let's put now a little bit yellow. And this is what I have to do. I think to leave a lump of color on them. The lighter the color is and stronger, it catches the bird's eyes. Now I'm gonna put a couple hollyhock flowers over here. I'm just gonna make it the stem. All right, let me put some little yellow color too around the windows. Because those two colors, it attracts bees and it attracts uh, birds too which is for, it's for the bird. Let's put some yellow here. Okay, the dish, the plates, we're gonna leave it empty. We're gonna leave it the same natural color. I think I'm gonna go with the stem a little bit more red around here. Here it is, our beautiful gourd. Now the birds will go inside and he will enjoy it. Yeah, now my beautiful bird will have a place to enjoy to have a place to sleep and to enjoy the beautiful home for him i let him twice to go and he returned back it looks like he loves his house he's more comfortable every morning he eats his fresh eggs from the chicken i make one egg and he goes he comes he eats all day I put some seeds, but he's still not eating yet. We're making it red so it will look nice and colorful. And they have red eyes. And let's put black around. 
so it shows better. I think it's a beautiful duck, beautiful swan. It's in the garden sitting and the birds will know his own house. Let's put one more time the red color. Well, here it is, our little bird house. We're gonna keep this hanging until it dries. And this is how the bird is gonna enjoy his own house. We'll take a picture while he's in and we put on thumbnail. And we'll see how is he is enjoying. It's wet, it needs to dry. So what we have to do, we're gonna put the food here. So he can come up and jump in a dish and he can eat his food. We're gonna fill up with seeds. Well, this is how beautiful it's gonna look, my ducky, my little swan, duck, whatever it is for my birdie. He's gonna be very, very happy. This is the way we're gonna hang it. First inside until he wants to, to leave because we put him out and he come back. So this is the place for the food and we have a food. I'm just gonna put like this inside the food so he can stay here and eat. And he has his little plates, his water and his egg. And he will be the most happiest bird ever. Well, I want to thank you very, very much for watching. I hope you like this. And if you like, please click uh, like and subscribe. And I thank you very much. I'll put the nail thumb with the birds over here in his house. All right. Thank you again. Bye-bye. Thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this channel. I want to thank to all my patrons on patriot.com for their support to make my channel possible. Thank you.